on today. Uh, I am Torres Ross. And we're going to get started with service right now. We start us off with prayer. Then after that, uh, Prophet is going to shake out his one call and give us a song. And then the word of God will be preached by my wife, Apostle Lee Ross. Hallelujah. Let all the praise up in here. Hallelujah. Let it up your mouth. Come on. Come on. Let it up your mouth. Let it up praise. Wherever you are. Whether you're watching this or by some way on social media or whether you're up in here. Come on. Let all the praise up in here. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Father, we just thank you on today. We thank you for life, Father. We thank you for waking us up this morning. We pray on today you move by your power and move by your spirit on today. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, the set of angels. Hallelujah, in our midst on today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for a life of on today.
God, I thank you. I just thank God on this morning. So let me up. Stand, yes. stand there. 
for having that Lord's girded about with truth uh -huh. and have it on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. And your feet show up with the preparation of the gospel. Of the gospel of peace, I'm sorry. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Hallelujah. And take the helmet of salvation Hallelujah. and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Uh -huh. Praying always. Uh -huh. It said praying when? Always. always. Hallelujah. With all prayer and supplication in the spirit. And watching down to with all perseverance uh -huh. and supplication for all saints. Hallelujah. That means the saved ain't exempt either. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly. Hallelujah. So the church shouldn't be quiet. Ha, ha. Come on. Come on. To make known the mystery of the gospel. That's right. Uh -huh. For which I am an ambassador. Uh -huh. Yes, Lord. And bonds that therein yes, I may speak boldly. Yes. That sound that sound like to me that the Christian folk need to get up and start opening up their mouth and be bold for oh, oh, come on, come on. Pop. Stop all this entertainment oh, because it's not getting up. Come on, Pastor. Hey, let's go. I'm gonna break the back of the devil. I know what that shit. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Makes me bold as ought to speak. Yes. Verse twenty-one. But that he also may know my affairs and how I do Titus. Uh huh. A beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord shall make known to you all things, uh -huh. whom I have sent unto you from the same purpose that ye might know our affairs. Yes. And that he might comfort your hearts. Yes. Peace be unto the brethren. Yes. And love of faith. From God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Grace be with you all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. If I would like to talk on today. Yes. Come on. About verses 10. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Verse 11 uh -huh. through 17 about God's honor. Okay. Hallelujah. Who are you wearing? Oh! Come on. Come on, Apostle. Who are you you have? Yes, Lord. Because clearly, uh -huh. if you had all the honor of God, you wouldn't be defeated. I know. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey. There is no defeat in God. Yes, Lord. Come on. So, therefore, we need to be praying more. Ha. Yes, Lord. Come on. Speak Holy Ghost. See, a lot of us are going through a lot of warfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to talk about how I'm exposed to death. I'm talking about how I keep that going on. Oh, shit. Yes, Lord. Yesterday, we were trying to prepare for today on service. Hallelujah. And chaos was just coming left and right. Ba, 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 shot. Yes, Lord. But thank be to God that I know how to get into a place. Yes, Lord. Where I can set my own atmosphere. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I can call down things that be not as though they are.
Because prayer is coming out of my mouth. You don't believe me. Go and see God for yourself. That's right. Hallelujah. Because I may be wrong. Wow. Wow. Don't take my word for it. Yes, I got the Holy Ghost in me. But you need to see God for yourself. You need to hear God for yourself. Stop coming to me at 12 midnight telling me I woke up saying the Lord. Don't let me go to You need to see him. You need to go to him. Because I'm going to get some sleep. Don't find me asking me what God is saying. Come on now. You need to see him for yourself. Ooh, glory. Ooh. That's why we need to sit these people down and teach them the word. That's why I'm not for all that food and holler. Oh, that's good. But I need to be taught. Oh, I need to be taught. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. The scripture that I mainly stand on is James 5.16. Alright. The prayers of the righteous are made. Oh! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And if the prayers of the righteous are made, must that mean I can come boldly to my father and ask him in secret, what do I need, God? That will be pleasing unto your eyesight. Not my will, God, but thy will be done. Look at the work that Jesus did. Wow. When Jesus was sent on this earth to do the work of the Father, he never had selfish prayer. Yes. He said, Father, what must I do to set your people? Yes, yes. He taught the people in the synagogue at an early age. Yes. See, Jesus was our example of what we need to be doing in this hour. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Do the works. Hallelujah.
We get to serve notice to the devil. Yes, Lord. And take of him enough is enough in my household. That's right. That means more fasting, more praying, more seeking God, uh -huh. not for things, That's but for spiritual things. That's right. Because we're going to need more spiritual so that we don't know when we see the devil come. That's right. We've got to be two steps ahead of the devil. That's right. And by me being in the flesh, it won't have to be known. Because the enemy ain't scared of you. He said, Paul, oh, I know. Yes. Jesus, I know. But who are you? Wow. Come on. Come on. Satan ain't scared of you. Yeah. Strengthen me, God. He said, let the weak say that I am strong. That's it. 
God said, I'm going to provide. I just need you to take a leap of faith. And on today, I pray that you take a leap of faith on today. Yes. And stop being in fear because God didn't give us a spirit of fear. But a power of love and a sound mind. Hallelujah. Yes, we got the word for it. Yes, it's going to be hard. Well, I done put so much money in my business and I'm not seeing it grow. Where is your foundation? Wow. Did God tell you to start that business? You can't start no business because you see Latoya over there starting the food business. Now it's a oh, she making money. I think I'm looking at what she do. It ain't no money, baby. Get in your name. Come on. God didn't call you to be no cook. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He called you to be a head dresser. Go out there and do some heads. Get some flyers. Get some business cards. Stop being so, stop being so, uh, come up. Oh, well, she ain't gonna help me. And this person ain't gonna see God on who you need to have get help from. Because there's some people out there that's way farther than you are in their business and in their ministry that you can learn from. That your mind is sharing with you. It may cost some money. Yes, Lord. Some of them in charge you. Wow. But we got to see God in all things. Uh-huh. It's too much going on out here. That's we right. ain't supposed to be running up under no man. True. True. Hallelujah. God said, I will show you how to get wealth. Mm. And this is our wealthy season. Huh? Come on. Not the riches. Not the riches of the world. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look at look at the economy of the government. It's crash. But see the kingdom of God. God no. in crash. Yes, Lord. Thank you. You gotta check your foundation. God is all over. What foundation are you standing on? Ooh, Lord. Did God tell you to do this? Did He tell you to do that? Or maybe, or maybe God told you to do this two years ago. Now so you want to start today? No, it's not gonna work. He gave you that promise in the start a long time ago. But you never got started. Well, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. You need to talk to God. That's right. He won't steer you wrong. You want to go and talk to your best friend and she's stealing your ideas. Wow. And I'm not just talking to the women, I'm talking to the men too. Hallelujah. God has told you to leave these friends alone, but you still hold them.
God won't even let me get to what I wrote. But we can't keep having these spiritual battles and unnecessary warfare because we want to be like everybody else. Be like yourself. That's it. That's it. I'm going to ride in the lane that God gave me until He until I'm able for Him for, for Him to shift me to another lane. Hallelujah. But He needs to see maturity. Woo. He needs to see humility. We don't have enough humility. You have to be mature in Christ before he can do anything. And you got to learn how to celebrate those That's right. that has came up. Because you don't know what hell and how God they have to go through That's right. to get to where they are. That's right. You're going to lose people. You're going to lose things. Yes. But God is just letting you know that stuff you didn't need. I got right. something better. Right. I got something better. But if you constantly going back to the whole things, you're going to continue to go around this same bush. And have unnecessary warfare. It's going to be a battle in your mind. Change your diet. God, why, why, why am I always sick all the time? Change your diet. He don't tell you to get up and exercise and change your diet. But yet you're still sitting there with a box of Diddy Dogs and a case of 12 pack uh, uh, Coca Cola's. He been told you to change your diet. Wow. Spiritually and naturally. Change your posture. Change how you pray. Yeah. Walk your household. Get up and walk. Why are you doing noise your prayer? Have mercy. Why are you driving to the store prayer? I don't need this to preach. When I go to Kroger, when I go to Walmart, when I go to the laundromat, if I'm in the bathroom, I'm going to preach the way God gave it to me. Yeah. I don't need your platforms. Woo. My platform is everywhere. Come on, Pastor. Stop talking about who my bill is the outreach ministry, and you ain't never went to nobody's door to ask them, Do you know Christ? Take the sign down. I'm not talking about shit. Hello. Yes, Lord. These people ain't coming up in your church because you look just like them. Woo. Go out.
real relationship with God. Hallelujah. Not just to say, oh, I went to church today. Okay, you went to church today. What did you learn? Come on now. But you learn you need to apply it daily. That's this right. is a daily walk with Christ. Hallelujah. You can't just say, okay, I read it, I prayed, and I saw God on Sunday, and, and, and the rest of the week, you just sitting there not doing nothing. Wow. It's not going to get you nowhere, baby. You need to see God every day. That's right. But I pray that something has pricked your heart on today. Uh, and for those that want to be saved on today, you can have your altar in your own home. Hallelujah. And you can lift up your hands where you are and ask God for, for forgiveness on today. Yes. And ask the Holy Ghost and God to come into your heart. Hallelujah. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. Help me, God. Forgive me for what I did. Yes. Receive the Holy Ghost. Yes. And thank Him for saving you. Hallelujah. It don't take all of that. Mm. Hallelujah. Get in secret with God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So He can show you what you need to be doing in this hour. He will give you the instructions you're looking for. Yes. So you won't have to constantly go by what you feel in your flesh. Mm. And you cause in your mind to be discombobulated. Because you don't know what else to do. Wow. But to take yourself out. But I come against the spirit of depression on today. And I come against the spirit of suicide on today. I come against the spirit of low power today. I come against the spirit of not having enough. I come against the spirit of weariness and despair. I come against every dumb, deaf, blind spirit in the name of Jesus. And I place the fire of God to consume you right now of where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I ask God and I pray to God that he meets you where you are. Hallelujah. And that he cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Yes. That he show you the way Hallelujah. that you need to know. Yes, Lord. And once you, once you know God for who he really is yes. and get a real prayer life, Hallelujah. then he can teach you how to war yes. and not run from, from when fiery darts are being launched at you. Yes, Lord. When people are talking about you. When, when, when things are not going right in your life. When, when your marriage is falling short. When, when, when you don't have friends and, and your mom and dad is talking about you and they don't like you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God loves you so much that he wants to have intimacy with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray on today. Yes, Lord. That your mind be transformed. Yes. On today. And you got clarity. Yes. On what your next move. Yes, Lord. Need to be. Mm -hmm. And it needs to be in God on today. Yes. I thank my followers. Hallelujah. For turning in. I pray this word. Hallelujah. Help you in a, in a way that you will see God and ask God, whose armor am I wearing? Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, God. Come on, let's do God's praise for that little bit. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's praise God for the word of word. I hope and pray that you gain something from that. And also pray for the woman of God. You restore to her strength right now. Restore to her virtue right now. In the name of Jesus. And we come against every retaliating spirit. Hallelujah. 
And we'll try to come back and handle this word from going forth. God is saying something to us. He gave us prophetic instructions. And if you know you ain't been doing what you're supposed to do after hearing this word, I come to let you know you have an opportunity to do it right now. Going to close it out. Thank you, God. On today, we thank God for the people on social media, those that are here in the sanctuary. God bless you. The Lord has spoken. Yes, God. And He's still going to speak. Yes, God. The question is are you willing to listen? Yes, God. Are you willing to listen? Father, we just thank you for. The word being released, we thank you for the people that have tuned in. Yes, we pray, Father, we give peace to the minds of the people. Yes, we decree and declare oh, multiplication of, of your mercy and your grace yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it, God. in the name of Jesus. And we thank you right now. This, this Wednesday, we're going to be on YouTube Live. I don't think we're going to be on Facebook Live. I don't know. But uh, we're going to be on YouTube live because uh, this Wednesday is going to be midweek mail. So be sure to tune in at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yes, um, it's, going to be, it's going to be on YouTube live. Yes, so we so won't be in the sanctuary. Just let you all know. So be sure to tune in at 10 PM Central Standard Time on YouTube Live that's unified in Yahshua. Y A H S H U A. One more time. Y A H S H U A. International Ministries. YouTube Live. Um, just just a day of just reading and studying the word. You know. Also, whenever the spirit says so, I, um, my wife will share more information down the line concerning uh, prayer. Do something with prayer. Yeah? We're going to have prayer. Yes, also, Facebook, YouTube, live, you know, give you more information about that. But start, start this Wednesday. Yes, Midweek mail. Midweek mail. 10 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you. It's my prayer. Continue to be blessed. Thank you for joining us on today. Hallelujah.